What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about what the direction of the console space is and, and what, what direction we're going as console gamers because normally we're, we're used to a six, seven year console life cycle traditionally. The Xbox One and PS4 lasts a little bit longer but uh, throughout history we've, we've gone through you know five, six, seven years then we get a new console generation and everybody gets excited about it. This is the first year that uh, appears to be totally different uh, and I think that it's a sign of the times you know people get phone upgrades every fucking year uh, you know we're upgrading our TVs now I just bought this TV in 2014 it's a, a 1080p TV and it was state-of-the-art at the time but here we are 2016 I'm getting ready to upgrade now because you know it, it's available and if technology flips now at a faster pace than it ever has before so what do you do? You know, if you, if you do you get left behind or do you move forward with the technology? And for the most part, people move forward with technology. Uh, and so that appears to be what's happening with the video game uh, console space as well. Now, console makers are finding new technology, learning new workarounds and make their consoles more powerful than ever at a faster uh, rate. You know, the PS4 and Xbox One came out three years ago and they're, they're already working on the next generations. Of these consoles you know they, they just talked about the Scorpio at E3 and, and PlayStation is working on the PlayStation 4k so I mean this stuff is is real it's happening very very fast but some people are theorizing danger ahead for the console space this articles on the Wall Street Journal I'll drop a link in the description that's right guys we made it to the journal danger ahead video game consoles head into the unknown mid-generation updates for PlayStation and Xbox should help smooth out console cycle the launch of the new video game consoles used to be cause for celebration and big sales booms. Sony and Microsoft are taking a different tack this year, sending the industry into unknown territory. The companies are preparing updates for their line of PlayStation and Xbox consoles. Neither is being billed as a next generation device in the same way as new consoles have been in the past. Instead, both companies are looking to add more computing horsepower to accommodate super high resolutions found in 4K TV sets as well as virtual reality games. Sony says it's developing a console that is more, a more powerful version of its current PlayStation 4. No further details have been shared. Microsoft told attendees at the E3 press conference this week that it's working on a new device under the codename Project Scorpio that is essentially a super-powered version of its Xbox One. That device will join the company's current lineup as opposed to replacing an older machine. Microsoft plans to launch the device next year at the holiday season. This will be the first time major video game consoles have attempted such a mid-generation update. Console makers typically design their products for a 10-year lifespan which requires a custom-designed chip that will go the distance. But for the most recent consoles, both Sony and Microsoft elected to use chips similar to those used in personal computers. This allows them to update their console capabilities more frequently without a major redesign. That is a sound plan in theory, but it's hard to know at this point how the new machines will be received. The PlayStation 4 and Xbox One went on sale less than three years ago, and in that time have sold well, racking up more than 60 million combined units sold. Game publisher EA expects the number to hit 80 million units by the end of this year. Neither company expects a new machine to launch a new cycle. The updated consoles will likely appeal to a segment of power players who are looking for the top of the line experiences and are willing to pay for it. The upside is that such updates could help smooth out the cycles of the video game business, which has typically seen sales of consoles and games wane as the devices age. Most game makers already design more powerful versions of their titles for PC, so having a wider range of consoles built on the same computing standards shouldn't disrupt their business. It may even help them level up their sales more. Uh, I agree with that, man. I think that uh, these console, uh, they call it mid mid-cycle upgrades uh, I think that the Xbox Scorpio is not a mid-cycle upgrade I think that it's it's a new generation of Xbox that has backwards compatibility and is able to seamlessly play Xbox one games that's what I think you can't go from 1.2 teraflops to six teraflops and think that it's the same thing it's just an upgrade no that's a whole new animal it's like they said at e3 it's a beast that's a beast of a console. It's not even close to what the Xbox One is. Microsoft themselves said that the Xbox Scorpio is four and a half times more powerful than the Xbox One. So this is not an upgrade. That's a whole new animal. You know, uh, we're going to see huge differences in the games on the Scorpio compared to the Xbox One. So for anyone to think that it's the same generation is insane. The Xbox Scorpio is mo definitely 
it's definitely a ninth generation console. There's no debating it. This thing is going to be as powerful, if not more powerful than most gaming PCs. Way more powerful, to be honest. And it's coming out next year. So whatever PlayStation decides, uh, I'm excited to see as well. I'll definitely be getting a Scorpio. I'll definitely be buying the PlayStation 4K, whatever the Neo ends up being. Because it's not going to be what they initially thought now. They are going back to the drawing board. And they're, they're going to try to combat uh, Microsoft's plan to take over the hardware space. Microsoft wants to have the most powerful hardware in any console in history. And it looks like they could do it. So with Sony knowing that, they're going back to the drawing board in the Neo. And they're going to redesign this thing so it can compete. Uh, but yeah, here we are. A new and unknown territory when it comes to the console space. This is new territory, but I welcome it, man. I mean, there was a time where we kept our phones for five years. There was a time where we walked around with pagers. You guys remember two-way? Hit me on my next toe chirp. You remember that shit? We're in the future. Times are changing. Technology is changing ever more rapidly. And when it comes to video games, expect this. It's going to happen more and more often. We might get to the point uh, where they make a console every two years. You know, it might be hard to keep up with it. But, I mean, the technology is just advancing so fast. And we're at a point now where every other month it seems like there's a new chip coming out. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you guys think that this mid-cycle upgrade is going to damage the traditional life cycle of a console? Do you want the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One to last for 10 years? If you do, if you want these consoles to last that long, but they're able and capable of making things much better, do you want them to not make it? Or do you want to see the newest thing as soon as it's available? Be sure to sound off in the comments below. Give a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.